All right, we get to use the winch for the first time. Make sure you stay tuned after the recovery because we're going to be going over the Corvair and how it did in Moab and some damage that happened there. So don't miss that right after the recovery. Good morning. We have got a busy day ahead of us. We're headed out to Moab. That was the plan. Um, and then last night a call came in at Lake Powell for a stuck Toyota. So we're going to be meeting Fab Rats in Kanab. Gonna go get it done. These allergies are gonna make me sound sick. It's currently 9.30 in the morning and 37 degrees and uh, no wind, no clouds either. It's gonna be a good day. So Jamie's coming out so she doesn't want to drive her car all the way in and I'm not gonna pull the trailer all the way in. So we're just gonna look for a place up here to unload and load everybody up in the vehicles that are going. <laughs> the air conditioning is going to work good today, though. And Rudy brought a jean jacket. Oh, you guys have a windshield? Oh, you guys are lucky. <laughs> Boy, that's a little chilly. Pretty much mostly my fault. <laughs> but we're standing around here just waiting for Hefe to bring the winch controller so I can try my new winch out. <laughs> you should time it on the way back. <laughs> we're gonna need it anyway. This is a winch job. Yeah. All this way for that. Let's see if it's inside. Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Big gulps, huh? Yo. Do you even know that reference, Michelle? Are you kidding? I'm just okay. wondering. That's like the the most famously quoted movie of all time. Okay. Big gulps, huh? Well. Well, see you later. <laughs> Hey, what's the time? 20 minutes. 20 minutes? I was <laughs> off by a lot. Oh, you guys didn't check it before you brought it? Stop. No. Is, it, is the plug thing in there? Yeah. Hi. I was just playing. Well, I dare cross this. There. Well, I say go for it. Uh, are you kidding me? Because that's what he did. Do you think this is a good decision? No. Well, I mean, there's some tire marks there. I'm going to ease out there.
heavy's not sinking too bad. I know all this extra weight I'm carrying isn't making me sink, so we should be good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we get to use the winch for the first time. Rhett, come watch this. I think I'll just put a rope on it and creep. I'm not scared about this yet. How many soft shackles you got right here? A bunch. Okay. Is this your lake day shirt? Yes, I'm at the I'm at the beach. <laughs> you trying to get to the axle? Let's I'd... just hook to the receiver and see what it see does. See what happens. That's what I'm saying. I like that idea. Ooh, game your own more often. She makes it so Make we don't sure lose you don't lose stuff. anything, huh? Okay. So pretty much like Ed. Right so just <laughs> help a little. Okay. That's all I got for you. <laughs> it's it's not suctioned in very bad. Good. I'll be back home building the motor before I know it. <laughs> It's out. We did it. That was awesome. Looks like we got the wagon done in the nick of time. <laughs> that was a pretty good pull though. It was dragging me forward. This tire over here never rotated. Oh really? No, when I, when Jay's, I told him to have you spin it a little, I seen if it's on suction, this one never turned. Oh, man. It skidded yeah. the whole time until it came straight. So when I got in it and put it in reverse and I put off the brake, the other two were just yeah, this tire never turned. Effie, you're not really going to do it. Watch me, Rhett. That your Corvair performed today. I'm super. Let's talk about that for a minute. Just really quickly, it needs some more shakedown. It's got it's got a little bit of polishing to do, but I would say fundamentally, she sounds. She's, yeah. Is this she the first good. job? Yeah, this is first job. This is first job. So first job. I feel honored. We didn't that tell we it back, so it did good. Voyage. No, not yet. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> if you can make it on the maiden voyage and not tow it home, it passes. It's good. So go to www.fabratsgear.getitnow.com. <laughs> he could never get it right if he tried. Go to www.fabratsgearspreticool.com. All right. Now for the seriousness okay. of this job. So, well, we went and did that thing. Let's see. How do we start this? So this guy called me late last night. I told him to wait till morning. We'd come get it. Um which we did. 
I didn't know how bad it was going to be, but it looked really bad. But ended up not being too bad. Yeah, the pictures where it looks stuck. Yeah. So we had Paul come just to make sure. Well, I wouldn't have done it by myself. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have. We were it out. we were dragging both of us yep. into him. So I think we brought the right amount of trucks. And don't forget to tip your servers. <laughs> He's just making Tucker's more like, work for you, Tucker. End it better than that. <laughs> He's just uh, making more work for you, really. Out, That's Tucker. what he's doing. All right, Moab. Fantastic trip. It's the first time I've been to Moab and the first wheeling trip and shakedown run for the Corvair. There's a lot of questions, and I just want to kind of do a little overall uh, review with it. So anyway, here's here's the rundown. So we have 513 gears. So that's 5.13 to 1 gear ratio. That's the final drive in the axles. I've got an MP205 that it's a 1.961 to 1 ratio and that's way too high. So we did the math. I'm looking for a 3.8 to 1, which I can get with the Atlas transfer case from advanced adapters. So I've got that on order and we're going to be putting that in. I knew that going into it that this is going to be too high but uh, they're back ordered, so I wanted to get it running with what we had instead of wait for the right part. And I do a lot of that because I'm impatient. The torque converter is a TCI. It's a 2200 to 2500 stall. I think I need to go down to like an 18 or 1900 RPM stall. And then with the 3.8 gear set, I think that will put me Perfect. So I'm currently running uh, 38 inch tall Milestar Patagonias. I got them at a swap meet or yard sale or something. And they're a fantastic tire, but we did build this for 40 inch. So we're gonna be getting some brand new 40 inch Milestar Patagonias. I got some beadlocks for these. Like these are Hummer wheels. I don't hate them. A lot of people do hate them, but I've got a set of beadlocks. I've got a, I bought them used. I'm gonna have to do some cleanup on them but I'm probably gonna be mounting the new tires on the, those beadlocks. So that's something I've got to get on right away. Going to Moab, we knew this. We knew that it was gonna be a major pain to put gas in the gas tank because we've never finished the filler neck or anything. We're actually working on that right now. So we had to put gasoline in this through this tiny little hole right there with a funnel. And it was tedious and it was inconvenient. You remember when we took it out on the first test run, we ran it out of fuel on a steep hill and there was lots of questions or comments like, oh, you must've got that fixed. No, we didn't get it fixed. We just know that uh, we need to keep the tank full or like, you know, above like five gallons if we can. And I didn't have any, tr any trouble. The windshield, all the glass, getting a lot of comments about that. Why is there no glass in it? Why is there no windshield? And it's exactly the same reason I haven't taken a nap in two years. It's because I haven't had the time to do it yet, but we will be putting the glass in soon. Uh, we don't have any shimmying, shaking. We drove it up to 65 miles an hour on the highway. No death wobble, no, it, do, it doesn't dart, it doesn't wander. Its road manners are incredible for a car with, you know, eight to 10 pounds of air pressure in the tires. We had zero overheating problems. And even with the high stall and the high gear with the powered transmission cooler, didn't have any problems with that. We were able to run the winch. The winch ran flawlessly. There is some damage that we took on on this in Moab. Y'all saw the tailpipe. There it is, we did some damage. Easy fix, we're just gonna go in about two inches and cut it off. The exhaust on this is two and a half inch. I am using an H pipe and I'm running 18 inch uh, hush power mufflers by Flowmaster and they sound incredible. Why don't you come with me on the creeper under this car. I'm gonna take the camera and I'm gonna show you the damage that we sustained under here. So there's a couple little spots like this where the, a rock came in contact with a differential. One of the rods right there, you can see the, the lower link has a little bit of scratches on it. That's the most aggressive, that's the transmission cross member. We came down on that pretty hard. We don't have any of the skid plates underneath here yet. Don't worry, we'll get them, but we didn't have them for this one. Pretty small, like for a shakedown run, pretty small problems. But here's the real damage under here. We actually did bend some metal. It was on a trail called Steel Bender. I don't know if you can see that, but this is arch. This is, we came down off of a ledge, landed right there and bent this. Now these lower links are mild steel. I knew they were gonna not be very durable. 
and we came down really hard and I'm actually kind of surprised how little damage it did but there are some awesome aluminum uh, links that I've been looking at and I've always been planning on running them on the lower up front here anyway so now that we know everything works and we know the length the links need to be um, I can get those ordered and get them coming. I don't know. There's probably some other things that are, you guys are concerned about that I didn't go over. I'll try to think of them. It is a process. It takes time. Everything takes time. And finishing everything that we need to do to make this, like, finished. And it may never be finished, like, really finished, because you're always kind of upgrading and doing maintenance and changing things. But I think it's going to be finished eventually. All right, thanks for sticking around. The Corvair is now going in for touch-up paint, then upholstery, then we're gonna put the glass and all the trim on it. There's gonna be a big reveal. Uh, I can't wait to show that to you, and thanks for watching.